All right, baseball season is upon us. We're going to have some fun with a little blitz here, and it is the Kenny Flushometer, where we rank and discuss the new items across the great sport of baseball for Kenny to shove into his mouth and then eventually exercise the bidet. David, music, please. (laughs) Somehow this is exactly how I imagine it. All right, let's do it. Scale of one to five flushes. David. Let's start off at Petco Park. You want to go see the Padres? Well, you can get the Berea Egg Roll. That is an egg roll filled with shredded cheese seasoned beef. And if it's Berea, it's got to have that dipping, that that, that It does have a dipping, yes. Oh, that's going to tear Kenny apart. They may as well call that the bubble gut special. The creamy dipping sauce. So basically, is it like the... Corned beef egg rolls we have here. Right, except it's San Diego and it's a Berea taco. Let's start out with Kenny Cott first. And that's a solid four flushes for me. I'm into that. You're into it. Absolutely. All right. Rico Beard, known as Colon Man. Nothing Uh, bothers you. You'd be in on this. (laughs) Yes, I'm in on that. Now, Roberto, (laughs) everything bothers you, and you already look as if you're in pain. Well, I'm going to go by a different scale on this. My scale is more... How much baseball do I really want to see that day? <laughs> right. If you eat this yeah. over under on yeah. missed innings, yeah. finding a stall, set it three and a half. I'd be out on this. Yeah. Really? Like yeah, because I don't need a Berea taco that's then deep fried into an egg. Not everything has to come in egg roll format. I'm out. Okay. And I'm at a baseball game. I don't want to have those problems. Don't you understand? Nobody wants to go poo-poo in public. It's just not good. <laughs> I can't believe that never comes up in any of these like, you know, these meetings they have when they're planning these menus. Uh, they I'm, don't care. I know. They must not more, be human. Or more people are like me, and you can just handle it. <laughs> and you're regular. Right. <laughs> Got it. David, <laughs> item number two, please. You can go watch the Diamondbacks at Chase Field. You this is Rico. The- mm-hmm. This is Rico. I'm actually going to one of the games there. Oh, 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 Serpentialis or whatever their uh, alternate jerseys are. This is Rico's home away from home. What do we have? Are you a fan of Sonoran style? You can get the XL footlong Sonoran hot dog. It's oh. Sonoran, oh. you ingrate. Oh, so you so- can- <laughs> so it's Sonoran. <laughs> Son of Ron's <laughs> Wait, they got an Amon Ross St. Brown dog? <laughs> Ramen St. Brown. It's a Sonoran style hot dog. I told you, Roberto, they were going to enjoy that. Hey, uh, head on out to Serrano Mama. Hey, give me one of those Son of Ron's footlongs. I'll have a glass of the peanut Grigiot. So smoked bacon, ranch beans, mayo, mustard, and pico de gallo. Wait, Colon say it again. Man. What's on it? Smoked bacon. It's ranch, a bacon wrapped hot dog. Mayo, mustard, and pico de gallo. Not bad. Oh, I like God. it, but enough with the ranch. No. Everything with the ranch. Don't like it. Let's okay. Go. Besides what? Rice cakes. What? No, can no, no. You no. Eat? Leave him. Listen, <laughs> Roberto is on a health vision quest. Leave him alone. Uh, let's go to Kenny Cott. Now, Kenny, there is no bidet at the ballpark. That's still a fl- five flusher for me. The Sonorama of Ronaron. <laughs> the Sonorama Mama. I like all of those ingredients and I like hot dogs 100%. And you would have no fear about a seventh inning stretch of a different kind. I would be living in fear of that kind of a seventh God, inning stretch. Oh, That's my whole life. At uh, that you, point. You'll, you'll be taking in the, the formative stages of the game. In and a, then, in, Kenny, on a after toilet. we eat that, we can head on down to uh, Sedina. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love that city in Arizona, Tuscan. You mean Tucson? <laughs> All right. So if you want to go enjoy that the Ponenics. Rockies, <laughs> you want to go enjoy the Rockies, you can go to Coors Field and you can get the Dino Rib. So that's exactly what you think it is. A beef a rib? Giant beef rib. In. On a bone. Yeah, like in. It. Now it's gonna be it's gonna be ridiculously priced. There's no doubt. But I'm in on that. That's we just, finally have some. That's just smoke. So you're Fred meat. Flintstone. Yeah, because they're not deep frying it or bathing it with like a ranch sombrero or something ridiculous. It's a piece of meat. I'm in. Kenny. Because there's no ranch sombrero, it's only a three flusher for me. But I'm in. I'm in. Okay. Colon man. I'm gonna say no. Not wow. no, no, no. Not that I don't like it. It's just a beef rib at a game. Like it depends on how big the rib is. It's a beef rib. No, it's I'm a dino rib. Right. It's a dino so, rib, so it's a giant. Yeah. Right, so it's like, you know what? This is something for dinner, not for a baseball game. Okay, a little bit too heavy right. for our man Rico Beard. David. Well, if the Tigers, well, they play tomorrow. Are you it's, doing the beef rib, Roberto? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, but yeah, I, I, I think what you're saying is right. Like, I wouldn't want a big smoked turkey leg while I'm sitting there eating. But think about the tryptophan. Could put you to sleep. Less <laughs> baseball is a win for you. I, uh, yeah. Do they really need anything else to make you sleep more at these things? <laughs> <laughs> David, I, I, you know what? That's on, you know, that's on me. That one is on me. I brought him into this conversation. That's on me. Oh, my. You know what? I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. All right. So, Tiger <laughs> fans, if you want to maybe sleep during the first game or whatever during the second game, <laughs> at City Field, you can get the Mets championship burger. <laughs> What's that called? A gravestone? <laughs> it has a Pat Fried- LaFrida beef uh, with a main lobster seafood salad on top. <laughs> Coated in a cheesy lobster fondue. No. Okay, you know what? <laughs> fondue. Here's what I'm gonna say. Hey, fondue you. <laughs> okay. And Go it, fondue you. Fondue so. me. Uh, play Timmy Trumpets while you buy that thing too. This is why I see you call them losers. This, this, this right here is. We got a bunch of stuff. Hey, how about we put it all together and put it on a burger? Will it work? No, it won't. We'll sell it anyway. What could possibly take our fans' attention away from how ass we are? A burger. focusing on their own ass. A burger seafood dipped in fondue cheese. Out. Out Out. completely. That sounds terrible. Thank you. And so do the Mets. And Roberto just shivered. (laughs) 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 You blow. Huh. Hey. Cha-cha-cha. All right, David, what's next? Let's go with the doggone foul. What? That is a – this is at uh, – you can see the Brewers, and you can go get this doggone foul, which is a hot dog with a chicken finger and tater tots <laughs> on top. Hey, up next, this stuff's all about to expire in the kitchen. Let's throw it on and let the pores have it. Wait, no, I'm so out. So we have – we ordered too many hot dogs and too many right. chicken fingers. Uh, got it. Got it. Got out. it. Out. What if we put them together? No part of it. You guys are snobs. I'm giving this a four flusher. Are you serious? I would eat it. Why not? Because sometimes it, it's not necessary. I, I agree order with the that, chicken but... fingers or order a hot dog. You don't need them both. You can, can I... have them both, though. Okay, okay here's the right there for you. And unlike Kenny, you, you're Rico's making sense. not going to wear a diaper to the game. <laughs> so it's just it's a different viewing experience. Roberto, your thoughts. <laughs> I mean, you know how this these big places go. If the if the chicken finger is not to the point where it's so hot you can't touch it, that's how you gotta have it. And if you're not making a real chicken finger and it's just from like kitchen services and we're just gonna throw it in the fryer, that's gross. It's gross. No, absolutely. And plus, they're gonna make you, Kenny. They're gonna make, they're gonna bang you twenty three dollars for that thing. Come on. Next, Rico, you want to go watch your team play? Oh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Truist Park, you can get the fielder's catch. What's that? This is on Kenny. It's a monster sandwich. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought also... it was an empty vodka <laughs> no, bottle. No, he didn't even say what's in it yet. Yeah, here, like... Here's what's oh, in the sandwich. Yeah, okay, let's hear it. Two lobster tails, oh. three fried oysters, oh, and sweet potato fries, just candied add... bacon, shredded lettuce, tomatoes, and spicy peach <laughs> Wait, they, they do realize no. it's Atlanta and not Boston, New England area. You know like, what? That, very strange. If that it's, was Boston, I would say, all right, I get it. It's an 87-degree Wednesday night. The I was humidity say, has me looking like I just got baptized at David's church. I know what I have a hankering for. The fisherman's platter on a bun. Right. No. That probably isn't fresh. What? Yeah. And 87 degrees in Atlanta mm. heat. You're baking in that heat. That's Why do you want to eat that? Oh, yeah. and then imagine what that smells like. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely David. not. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going <laughs> to stick with the Hank Aaron dog. <laughs> do you imagine if the slob next to you sits down with that thing? <laughs> like, like this hey, breeze. Buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy, you want to take a bite? Oh, I got them broiled oysters. <laughs> oh, God. It smells a little funny. I'd be like the kid in Sandlot when he does the tobacco on the on the Ferris wheel. Oh. I'd barf all over. Well, how about we do this? We end it with something to wash it all down with. Okay. You can go to Guaranteed Rate Field and get the Campfire Milkshake, graham crackers, chocolate bars, and toasted marshmallows. If If you're sharing that with your honey. I you got a couple of sips on that. If you drink the whole thing, 
You're Wilford Brimley. Yeah, I give You're my selling diabetes <laughs> supplies <laughs> by the fourth inning. Uh, the bitis. <laughs> I got me a campfire shake and my diabetes equipment. <laughs> Is it any dessert on there real quick? That would be the closest thing to dessert okay. on here, yes. Now, you can give that to a child. Now, that's... No. Sure you, you can. can. Mike, if you give that pure sugar to a child, Bouncing off you the better wall. give it to them you can't around give that. Yeah. the sixth inning. Okay. But what, see, this is Daddy, why I let's like. Let's go here. Let's go here. No, no this is what I do with my niece and nephew. Uncle Mike, you have as many M&Ms as you like. Because by the time that hits, I've artfully placed them back at their parents' house. It's not doing, my problem. Why, why are you doing Rip and your sister like that, man? I just <laughs> did that to my nephew on Saturday. I, dude, I like Rip. Why are you because, doing that? Because Uncle Mike don't miss. Damn, I and, doesn't they okay, love me. Have we not learned anything from Yellowstone? Who do you never piss off? Rip. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Up next, I'm visiting the train station. <laughs> and not the one downtown. Oh. All right. Um, largely gross, but I thank you for doing that, David. You're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Son of Ron. <laughs> All right, bet the NBA no sweat same game parlay with FanDuel every Thursday for TNT Thursdays. Doesn't matter if you're new to FanDuel or you got an account. You can get bonus bets back if that SGP doesn't win on any NBA on TNT game. NBA same game parlays, perfect way. You combine your bets, bet very little, give yourself a shot to win more. Because you can't bet this league straight up. Christ, Charlotte's so bad, their coach just walked away with six games to go. 